Till now, we have seen single link list and we have seen the operations on single link list. So, now what are those op operations? We have seen how to add a node in the beginning of the link list, how to add a node in the middle of the link list, and how to add a node in the end of a link list. And then we have seen how to delete a node from the beginning of the link list, how to delete a node from the end of the link list, and how to delete a node from the middle of the link list. Okay, now let us see an operation which will which is related to how to search some data into a link list from uh, if if the user have given some data. Okay, to, that means we have to uh, do some kind of searching on the link list. Okay, so let us suppose we are having this link list. right and this link list is containing some data the data is 5 4 6 and 8 right so what is the structure of this link list link list stru structure is struct node okay and we are having int data and node star next correct and it is struct node star next so let us suppose we are having this structure for this given link list and in this link list this is the data part and this is the next part. So here also data part and there is a the next part. There is a the data part and there is a the next part and here also there is a the data part and there is a the next part. Okay. Now in this link list we will do type def struct node node right that means whenever we have to write struct node in that case we just we can just write node okay so this is type def is type definition right so if we need to uh, initialize a variable of uh, this type node then we just have to write node and the name of the variable right so now we are just going to make a function with the help of this function we'll take the address of uh, the head of this link list and then we'll search some data into this link list right so um, let us suppose these are the addresses of these nodes so the addresses are 1000 2000 3000 and 4000 and we are writing this function so what is this function uh, we're doing search some data and data for this searching for data will take node star head that means the address of the head of this link list search node star head that is uh, the head head uh, the initial node of the link list and comma and info and this info is the in, uh, information which we need to search that means if this data is present in the link list then we have to return that yes this data is present and if this data is not present in the link list then you have to return that no this data is not present okay so how will you do it so to do it we'll write this function the function is uh, in this function so uh, we have to return yes or no so either you can use a return type as boolean or you can use a return type as integer okay so what i'm doing is i'm doing a return type as int correct and then if head is equal to null that means if the link list is already empty then we cannot search the data okay so then return zero zero means the data cannot be found that means if the link list is already empty there's no node in the link list then we cannot do anything but if the link list is not empty and there's at least one node in the link list then we can search the data okay so while head of next or while head is not null because not we'll be doing while head is not null will search if the data is present in the link list so here if head of data is equal to info that means if the data is present in the link list then return 1 otherwise continue that means this data is present in the link list and then we are going to return 1 to the calling function and the function call will be finished okay so this will be our function to identify whether data present in the link list or not correct 
So if the data is present in the ink list, then we can obviously do this, right? And after this while loop, we can just return zero that we cannot find the data. So this is after this while loop, okay? So, but what if you have to find out what is the position of the data where you uh, position of the node where you found found this ink list, found this given data? That means if you started from the beginning and you want to go to the position where the data is present and then it is your choice then you want to return the address of that node where the data is present or you want to return that uh, this data is at that particular node, uh, uh, location okay so returning the location is very easy and return the address is also very easy so now what we are going to do is we are going to modify this function in such a way that if you found the data that data is present in the ink list then uh, we are just going to return the address of the ink list uh, address of that particular node where the data is present but if the data is not present then we are going to return null okay so but uh, then we have to write this search function search and it is going to return address of the node or null therefore it will be node star as the return type and in the search function we are taking star head this is in node star head actually node star head comma int information that what is the data we need to search okay now we have to define the body of this function okay now in this function we have to see if head is equal to null that means there is no data present in the link list then we can just return null but if the, there is at least one node present in the link list then we will do while head is not equal to null we have to search the data so if head of data if head of data is equal to the information that means we find out that data is present in the link list then we just return head right so after the end of this while loop when the while loop is finished that means we cannot find the data right so then we just have to return null okay so this is how you can easily return the position where you found the data correct and what if you want to return the number uh, the number satisfied how uh, the number says how after how many nodes you can found the data right then in that case you can just take an integer variable here so uh, you can just take an integer variable here and whenever you are uh, executing this while loop you have to increment this integer variable that, uh, if, that means after how many nodes you found this data and in the return uh, return type you just have to identify that this is the integer number therefore the return type should, should be int instead of node star and then you have to uh, return that number as position okay so this is how you can search in a linked list right now let us see the double linked list and the singly linked list double linked list and the circular linked list